Hey guys, today I'm going to be opening and reviewing an American Girl Cafe, Diner, and Restaurant. So if you are new to my channel, welcome. Be sure to click on the subscribe button down below and the notification bell in the corner so notified every time I upload a new video. This video is a shopper's gift guide so shoppers can get an overview of each set so they can decide what they'd like to purchase. Be sure to comment down below your favorite set featured in this video. You might need to wait right up until the end so you're able to see the different reviews. The first set we'll be taking a look at is the Day at the AG Cafe set. There's a photo on the front of the box to give an overview of the set itself. It comes with multiple different accessories and items. It retails for $180 and it's a part of the Truly Me line. And the set itself is inspired by the different cafes at the different American Girl stores. So let's go ahead and unwrap the packaging so we can take a look at the different items. So what I'm going to do is as I show you each small accessory item, I'm going to be adding it to the setup. So by the time I show you all of the items a part of the set, the entire cafe should be organized nice and styled. So let's go ahead and take a look at the main feature item part of the set first, and it is the booth seat, and it looks so much like the one a part of the original American Girl Cafe. I love the floral design along the back, and it's pink at the bottom, and there's black and white stripes at the top. This set is surprisingly very heavy, it's really great quality, and then there's some space at the front here so you're able to place the table down with the different accessories too. And here we have the back of the booth. I love the pink wallpaper with the flowers and stars on it, and there's a small accessory item in the middle. It says cafe on the top, but there's a compartment, and it's clear, so you're able to add a menu. There are two smaller menus a part of the set that are folded in half, and those are meant to be for the table, but the flat menu is meant to be for this compartment here, and you're meant to get an overview, an idea of what they serve at the cafe before you visit. So it is double-sided. One side has drinks and entrees, and the other side has main and desserts. So you get to choose which side you want to display, and you just add it on top of the compartment and it should be able to stay in place. And I ended up choosing the side which features the entrees and drinks. And over by the other side of the booth it has the exact same design with the flowers and stars except it says American Girl Cafe at the top. What I love about this set is that the table is not attached to the booth, it comes separate so we can just place it over here. It's a lighter pink color compared to the booth seats and it seems like it is very sturdy, it will stay in place, especially since there is a mini doll seat for the table so you don't want it falling over when you add that item. The set also comes with some plates, so you're able to add some food items. So here we have two classic pink plates. They do match the booth seats a lot more than the table itself, so we'll just place them on either side like that. And there's some cutlery as well. There are two forks, we'll place those on either side, and they just look exactly like classic forks that American Girl has released in previous years. So if you've been to an American Girl Cafe, you definitely would have noticed the lovely pink flowers as a decor item in the middle of the table, and I'm so glad they included that a part of the set to make it as realistic as possible to the real cafe. So here we have this gorgeous flower pot. It's made out of a lightweight plastic material, and there's a lovely little handle towards the side. We're going to add that in the middle, and the set does come with a total of three different flowers. They look so much like the ones that are in the cafe. I absolutely love them. They're a lovely pink color. And we're going to add them like that. And I think that's definitely perfect for the setup. A drink that's very popular at the cafe is pink lemonade. There's a total of two glasses and there's a lemon slice on the side. I love how it's clear so you're able to see the drink itself. So in order to add the next item to the setup, I'm just going to move the flower pot with the flowers out of the way and I'm going to add this box to the middle of the table. And if you've been to the cafe, you would know this box has different questions and trivia. It says American Girl and there's a star design around the side. And here we have some of the questions. I'm so glad they included it. it. says American Girl Trivia, and there's three different categories. This one says fun and games. And then there's also another one. It says this or that, and there's different colors. There's teal, purple, and then this pink, red color, so you know exactly what it's all about. So if we take a look at the back, this one said this or that. It says, would you rather swim in a hot spring or a waterfall? If we take a look at this one, it says Samantha says, and it just says a game. And then here we have the third option, and it just has a question about an American girl. So we'll add all of those to the box, and then we'll close the lid like that. The set also comes with two menus for the table. These ones are styled quite different to the original one I added to the back of the setup. They're folded like that, says American Girl Cafe, and when you open it up, it's a lot more fancier. There's a floral design at the front, and it says different drinks, starters, and then it just explains what items are a part of the actual meal. So it says main course and dessert. There's a total of two of these, so one for each person. I'm going to add them towards the back so they're not in the way, and then we'll add this one over towards this side like that. Here we have a napkin, and there's also a scrunchie as well. This scrunchie you could definitely use in the doll's hair. There's a lovely pink bow at the front. What I'm going to do is I'm going to fold the napkin like this, and then we're going to add the scrunchie over the top of it. 
and then we can add it to the setup. So we'll just place it on the plate like that. And I've already done the other one, so that can just sit over by the other side. There's quite a bit of space over here to place down some of the mini doll items. So first off, we have a plate and then a matching cup. And this one's just the classic American Girl cup. And these items are so small. Just to give you a comparison idea of what the American Girl item looks like compared to the mini doll item, it's just so incredibly tiny. And then we also have this chair as well. And when you normally visit the cafe, you can get one of the chairs they have there and you can add it to your table so the doll can sit and eat with you. So they have a mini doll version of this and it just clips into the table and it's very easy to remove and place back again. It is made out of a lightweight plastic material and it says AG at the back as well. The handle's a lighter pink color to match the table, but the actual chair matches the chair the doll sits on. So now all I'm going to do is add the flower pot back to the table now that we've set up all of these items. The cafe set wouldn't be complete without an apron. This one here is such a lovely pink color. It says American Girl at the front and there's a pocket towards the side to place down smaller accessories and items. I love the detail at the bottom of the apron and there's a total of two sets of straps, one at the top and one in the middle and there's Velcro so you're able to open and close it. So we'll just add this over by the side. And what's really interesting about the set is that it does come with a mini doll and that's really great because it completes the whole setup because we have the mini chair that's already been attached to the table. This box is not the classic mini box the dolls normally come in, it's just completely plain. There's an opening at the top here and there's plastic wrap around it, but this outfit is so perfect for a birthday celebration or a day visit to the cafe. So we'll just open it up. And we'll go ahead and add this doll to the setup. So this doll here is meant to look like Truly Me doll number 88. She has pink, blue, and purple in her hair. And the hairstyle is half up, half down. But you can see the blue is a lot more at the bottom of the hair. And it's more pink at the top. This outfit is perfect for a casual day for visiting the cafe. There is a glittery pair of silver shoes. And there's some purple at the front. And this dress is so lovely. And you can actually purchase this outfit for an 18-inch doll. So the mini doll and the doll can be matching. So let's go ahead and see if the mini doll fits into the chair. We just need to add the doll in like so, and then we'll just slide the chair in towards the side of the table, and the chair seems to stay in place. That's so great to see, and I'm so glad the doll fits in the chair. So this set does come with a collector's guide. It says, Welcome to the American Girl Cafe. And this outfit here is the same outfit the mini doll is wearing, and that's the 18-inch doll version. And this doll over here is wearing the meat outfit with this doll too, except this one is wearing the apron that's a part of the set. You can see the entire setup. It seems like two dolls are able to fit in the set itself. So if we open it up, it gives an overview of all of the different items, and it just gives a little bit of a story about the first American Girl store and how they sell cinnamon rolls and how it all came to be. It's so interesting and definitely a great read and I love this photo so much. It shows the set with a doll and then it has a person with the set as if they're at the cafe. Overall the set is so wonderful. It has to be one of my favorite items American Girl has released recently. I just love all of the detail of it and I remember visiting the cafe many years ago and it used to be styled like this and I just love it so much. It just brings back so many memories. I love the detail of how it comes with the mini doll as well and the mini chair. It just completes the entire setup itself. And the next set we'll be taking a look at is Mary Ellen's Diner. This item is a main feature piece of part of Mary Ellen's collection. Mary Ellen is a historical character and her entire collection is based off of the 1950s, so the diner is inspired by that as well. This item comes with multiple different food items and accessories as well, so let's go ahead and unwrap all of the packaging so we're able to take a look at the different items and we're able to set up the diner itself. I have opened up the entire set, so let's go ahead and take a look at some of the smaller accessories first. So here we have four forks and four plates. These plates are really great quality. You can see that they're quite delicate, so they could break, but I love the detail on the front. It definitely suits the theme of the diner. Let's go ahead and take a look at some of the food items that are included in the set. We have some breakfast items right here. They're both eggs, so the top two pieces are scrambled eggs. You can see they're really thick, which I love. And then over here, there are some fried eggs, and these ones are made out of plastic. Let's go ahead and take a look at some more breakfast themed items. So first off, there's a stack of bacon. I think there's a total of three pieces all clumped together, so you can't remove any of the items, but that's perfectly fine. And we also have some sausage, and they're all stuck together as well. And then down here, there are some waffles and pancakes, and those are very traditional breakfast items you'd find at a diner. Comment down below if you could choose between waffles or pancakes, which one would you choose? 
And just before we take a look at some of the lunch items, there's some more food here. So I love this item. I have this from another American Girl set, but it's so adorable. It's a fruit cup in fruit, which I think is so cool. So you can see the base looks like some sort of fruit. And then inside you have some items like raspberries or maybe diced mango, I'm not exactly sure. And then over here, there's some more classic breakfast items and it's toast. So here we have some lunch items. First off, there are some hot dogs. They're a total up to a part of the set and it looks like there's some mustard on top of it, already pre-done. And then we have two sandwiches as well. It seems like there's lettuce, tomatoes, cheese. It seems really lovely. And then there's an olive on the top. And of course, there's two in the set as well. And here we have some of the main items that are definitely sold at diners. We have french fries or chips, depending on how you call it, at the front here. They're a total of two in the set. They look so delicious, and they're crinkle cut, of course. And then we have some burgers in the back, and there are two in the set, too. What I really love about the burgers is that you can take them apart, and you can pretend to build them so you can serve it to your dolls. So here's a complete one over here, and then over on this side, there's a total of four different pieces. We have the base the meat patty, and then we have the condiments on the top. There's tomato, lettuce, and cheese, and then we have the top bun on the top. But what I really love about it is that there's an indent for the tomato so it doesn't fall over or anything like that. So we'll start off with the patty at the bottom, then we'll add the items on the top, and then we'll finish off with the top bun, and it stays like so. Now it's time to take a look at the milkshakes. If you could pick between a chocolate milkshake or a strawberry one, which one would you choose? Be sure to comment down below your answer. So on the guide of the set, they do call it malt. So there's one strawberry malt, one chocolate malt, and two metal malt cups. So you're able to make the milkshakes. So we have the two cups over here, and we have the chocolate and the strawberry. I love how there's cherry and whipped cream on the chocolate, and then there's a piece of strawberry on the strawberry milkshake. Let's go ahead and take a look at some of the condiments for the diner. It wouldn't be complete without these items. So here's some pepper. I love how it's a gold finish. That's so pretty. And then salt. And you can shake it around as well, which I think is really fun. There's some maple syrup, tomato sauce or ketchup, and mustard. And here's some more items. So right at the end there, there is a menu holder. So you're able to scan the menu up. There's also a bell that really rings, which is really fun, and a sign. If you want the food to go or to take away, there's a total of 15 trays. And there are also some menus too. They're exactly the same on both sides. And it has some meal ideas that would be available at the diner. Here we have some placemats. It says Seaside Diner on the front, and I love how there is a photo on the front too. There's some coins, notes, so it's great how there's some money included in the set. And there are four order slips, and it looks like there's some writing on there too. There's also a paper hat that says Seaside Diner on the front, and to match, there's an apron that says Seaside Diner on the front, too. And I love the theme of the apron. It's so much fun. We have some teal and peach colors. And here we have some really fun items. There is a sticker sheet, so you're able to decorate the diner, which I think is really fun. There is a pretend blackboard with the daily specials, some stickers themed to Florida, some classic diner stickers, and a public telephone sticker, which I think is really cool. And then there's also a serving tray as well. Let's go ahead and take a look at the main feature item part of the set, which is the diner. It is teal, blue, and pink. Over by the front of the diner, there is a counter, and just in front of that, there's a total of two seats, and they do swivel from side to side. The cushion itself is a lovely blue color, which matches a lot of the other items a part of the set. And then here we have the sign on top of the diner. The set is, of course, called Seaside Diner, and I've attached the sign that I showed earlier on. So on this side, it says breakfast all day, best pancakes in Daytona. And then there are three different buttons at the back that I'll be showing later on. A sound button, a light button, and a music button. So when you press the light button, the lights come on here, and this rotates. Let me go ahead and press that button. It's quite tricky because I can't see where the buttons are, but there we go. So the lights come on, it is a little bit tricky to see, but the lights do come on. And then on this side, it talks about milkshakes. So I love how there are two different pictures on the sign. Let's go ahead and take a look at the side of the diner. So here we have a telephone booth attached to the side, which I think is so cool. So it does make sound, which is really fun, which makes it really realistic. It says local calls 10 cents. So let's go ahead and lift up the phone and hear the sound. So it says deposit 10 cents for five minutes, please. So I have a 10 cent coin, which is a dime that's a part of the set. I'll place that in. You can make your phone call and then you can go ahead and talk to the friend. And then if you want the dime back, you lift that up and then you can take it and do it all over again. And also if it does get stuck, you can go ahead and rotate this and this falls out so you can grab the coin through there too. Let's go ahead and take a look at the back of the diner. I love the style of the counter, it's so awesome. So it's plain white, and then there's some really fun confetti kind of design on the top. 
There's also a milkshake maker, which is really cool. It's definitely very realistic. There's also some accessories too up here. These three clips are meant to be for the orders, so you can keep track of what people are ordering or what dolls are ordering. And then we have two shelving units, so you're able to store some accessories like trays and food. And then the three buttons I was talking about earlier are over here. So there is a light one, a music one, and a sound one. So let's go ahead and listen to some of the sound ones. There are quite a few different sounds, so let's go ahead and listen to the first one. On Monday night, the Seaside Diner has a jukebox dance contest. This is the best river float I have ever had. So now it's time to go ahead and take a look at some more furniture pieces. I love that these items are not attached to the diner, so you can go ahead and move them right next door, or you can have them over on the other side of the room to keep it separate from the diner, which I think is so awesome. So first off, we have a table. It's really lightweight, but it's also sturdy enough so it won't completely fall over when you have food placed on top of it. It's a really pretty pink color, and I love the speckles on top too. And there are also two booth seats, a part of the set. It, they're so pretty. I love the teal and the pink, and there's also a really fun style. They are so realistic, and the fabric is really lovely too. All I'm doing right now is setting up the table over by the side with the different food items that are a part of the set. Overall, I would definitely recommend Mary Ellen's Diner. The quality is really great. It comes with a variety of different food accessories and items, and it's very interactive as well. And the next set we'll be taking a look at is Blair's Family Farm Restaurant. It was a part of Blair Wilson's collection and she was the girl of the year for 2019. When the set was available at American Girl, it retailed for $300. It was the main feature set part of Blair's collection and it comes with multiple different food and accessory items. So all we need to do is remove the items from the box, unwrap the packaging so we can take a look at the different accessories. And just before we set up and style the family farm restaurant, let's go ahead and take a look at some of those smaller accessories first. So here we have some of the appetizers. The first item is some cranberry avocado bruschetta. I love how realistic the avocado looks. And there's also a lot of detail towards the cranberry spread as well. And over in the middle, we have a stacked tomato capri salad. I love the detail of the tomato slices in the basil over by the top. And right next to that, we have a block of cheese. Another appetizer here is the homemade cornbread and it looks really delicious and I also love the tray it comes with. It's such a pretty teal color and what I really like about the tray is that the cornbread is not stuck to it so you can take it out and you can use it for other baked goods and you can place it inside and everything fits really nicely. Let's take a look at the entrees of part of the set. So first off, we have a baked pumpkin. This set is really different from the other items because you can open it up and it reveals a food dish inside of the pumpkin itself. Some more entrees that are part of the set include some grilled salmon with wild rice and dill and that looks really delicious and over here we have some pesto pasta with Swiss chard and I wasn't sure what this piece was but when I realized it was pasta you could definitely tell. And of course I can't forget to show you the dessert so over here we have some strawberry lemon cake and finally some chocolate ganache ice cream and there's a small little strawberry on the side and the ice cream definitely does look really realistic. And here we have the menus. There's a total of four part of the set and they're all styled exactly the same. It says Pleasant View Farm on the front and it shows different appetizers, entrees, and dessert options. And a lot of the food options a part of the set are actually listed in the menu too. A restaurant set would not be complete without some plates. There's a total of four dinner plates and four dessert plates. The four smaller plates are copper while the four larger plates have purple and teal on them and there's some copper details around the outside too. And to match the copper plates, we have four forks and four knives. Let's take a look at some of the kitchen utensils. So first off, we have a cheese grater, and there are a total of four different sides. We, of course, have a mixing spoon and a knife. To match the copper theme that's a part of the set, the saucepan is copper and there's such a pretty purple design on the front and there's some lovely flowers which matches some of the other pieces that are part of her collection. And then we, of course, have a fry pan too. This piece is a pitcher and it looks like there's some pink lemonade inside and the set has four glasses. There's two yellow ones and two bright pink ones. Some condiments that the guests might need at the restaurant include some olive oil, salt and pepper. These items are really pretty. They're a lovely mint blue color and we have a flour canister and a sugar canister. This item says it's hand-picked fresh eggs and there's six large eggs inside and when you open it up, three of them are green. And in order to decorate the table, I'm so excited they included this bouquet of flowers. It's so pretty and it matches the cups that are a part of the set. We also have a really lovely vase and it's really cute because it's not just a plain mason jar. We have a lovely little bow in the middle. 
Here we have some great decor items that are a part of the set. There are a total of two string lights and there's some light bulb details on them. There are hooks on either side so you're able to attach them to the restaurant. Let's take a look at the poster frames and the poster. I'll have to attach this to the main part of the set so I won't be placing the posters inside but you do place them from the top here. There's a small hole and there are two posters and they're double sided which is really cool. I love this one. It says made with love and it looks like it's a chalkboard which is very fun and the other one says welcome to our farmhouse. On the other side we have some vegetable themed posters so this one says farm sweet farm and there's a lot of veggies around it which is very fun and this one has a picture of four carrots. One item you can't forget to include in a restaurant are placemats. There are a total of four here. Two of them are the same while two of them are different. This one is so pretty. It's a lovely green color and there are some flower designs on either side and these ones have some veggies on the top. And if we take a look at the other side, this one at the top has some gray stripes. While this one is definitely very floral themed, it's very similar to this one, except it's purple. And just before we take a look at the larger pieces that are part of the set, there's a sheet of stickers right here. As you can see, there are quite a few to choose from. The first item we'll be taking a look at from the larger pieces is the table. It's definitely really lovely and it suits the other items in the set. The set does also come with some seating to match the table. There are a total of two plastic green benches. There are a few different larger accessory items themed to the kitchen a part of the set. Here we have one of those items. I love how it's green because it matches the benches that are part of the set. So there's some counter space over by one side and there is some cupboard space with some shelving units which does open and close. There are a total of two oven doors which do open and close and the knobs do twist from side to side as well. The back is also really pretty. It says Pleasant View Farm. And the next piece we'll be taking a look at is the sink. It's really lovely. I love how there's a marble style on the top. The sink is right here and it has a copper tap which you can remove and you can move it around and place it back there. You can open the side up and there are some more shelves. And if you take a look at the back, and just move it around, it says Pleasant View Farm again just like the other one. And in order to display the different food and accessory items, the set does come with a trolley. It's a lovely purple color and there's also some copper to match so many of the other accessories a part of the set. So the wheels at the front do move around and there's a stand on the other side. The copper tray on the top is removable and there's a total of two shelving units a part of the set and there's a handle over by the back. These three items will need to be attached to the main house structure later on so we can turn it into the family farm restaurant. So let's go ahead and set up and style the family farm restaurant. The set does come with some flooring so we're just going to be placing that down first and then we'll build the actual restaurant itself. So over in this part of the restaurant we're just going to be adding in the table, the benches and some of the food options. So I'm going to be placing down some of the entrees. So we have the baked pumpkin, then we also have the salmon and the pasta too. We also have the plates, the cutlery, the glass and it seems like the placemats all fit on the table itself. And over by the other side, we'll add in the stacked tomato capri salad, and in the middle, we'll place down the flowers. The benches can go on either side of the table, and the hooks for the lights are on either side of the setup. They're very easy to attach, and they seem to be staying in place as well. So we'll place one over by one side, and the other light accessory can go over by the other side. A part of the family farm restaurant, there is a counter space over by the side of the setup, so we'll just be placing down some of the dessert items. So we have the ice cream and the cake. This is a really great place to display some of those food accessories a part of the set. So over by the front of the restaurant, I have the trolley here. There's a total of two shelving units and this is really great for adding in some of the cutlery, smaller accessories and food options. So over by the bottom shelf, I've just added in some food items and some plates. For the middle shelf, I've just placed down some of the menus and over by the top shelf, we have the lemonade, olive oil, salt and pepper. And what's really great about the kitchen accessories not being attached to the restaurant is that you can style the room however you'd like. You can have them over towards the back of the restaurant or else you can have the kitchen over by the front and a part of the restaurant display. So we're just placing down some of those kitchen accessories like the flour and sugar. Then we also have the pot and the fry pan as well that can go on the stove there. Then over by the other counter space, we have some eggs and there's a spoon as well. And as you can see, Blair's Family Farm Restaurant is completely set up and styled. So over by the front here, we have the restaurant set up itself. I love the lights and the decoration items with the restaurant. It definitely suits Blair's storyline and collection. What I really like about the table itself is that it's large enough to set up a total of four different meal options, two on either side, and the benches are a really great addition to the set rather than classic chairs. 
I love the small counter space over by the side of the restaurant. It's a really great place to display some of the food items and there's also a small bell over by the side. It's really great how you can display the kitchen however you'd like. I've just placed the kitchen over by the corner and the side of the restaurant and we also have the trolley right next to it too. Overall, I would definitely recommend Blair's Family Farm Restaurant. It comes with so many different accessory items that would be perfect for a restaurant setup. I love the amount of detail that's a part of the set and the pastel colors and the copper work together perfectly and I do love the rustic theme to the restaurant, especially the light details over by the side. So thank you guys so much for watching this video and I really hope you guys enjoyed it.